any previous fire or security incident should be identified. Since fire is a major concern, the type of fire protection systems should be identified. Fire alarm tones, bomb threat, suspicious package, and evacuation procedures should be understood. If an elevator is used, the last inspection date and capacity along with any manual override should be learned. Fire and ambulance response time need to be identified along with the nearest trauma hospital, the name of the hotel doctor, and medical staff on duty should be included in the security advance report. The following should be part of the advance routine and appropriate information included in the security advance report location and distance of the nearest fire exit. The route to the exit should be walked by participating security personnel prior to the arrival of the executive. Note what is available around this hallway exit door. A fire extinguisher on the right, fire alarm pull station, well led exit sign, strobe light and emergency lighting. This information should be included in the security advance and known by security personnel working in the area. If possible, the area should be visited during the same time of day as the executive visit. The advance report should include brief information on how these systems operate in an emergency. This information can be obtained from the security director of the location visited or the facility manager. They should also know how to contact security personnel who are traveling with the executive in case an emergency occurs or a bomb threat is made against the facility. Advanced security personnel should walk the emergency exit stairs. I have seen occasions where the executive route has been blocked by furniture or in one case the door at the ground level chained and locked. Also check to determine if the stairway has emergency lighting and if it is working. In the United States and many other countries, this is standard procedures, but it should never be taken for granted. Check it out. Note how well this exit is identified in the daytime, but how does it look at dark? The security advance should be conducted in all areas visited during the same time period the executive will be at that location. Where does the emergency door exit to? It is a good habit to walk the stair exit evacuation route. Understand where the exit door enters the outdoors and the path which leads away from the building. This would be a good time to identify the primary emergency meeting location. This location should be at least 300 feet from the facility. The executive driver and other security team members should know this location in case it is necessary to meet the executive and move them from this location. The security advance should also include an alternate location site. 